We always have to have a router cooler because our router runs in a room that's not always air conditioned and they burn out if we don't. The last one lasted about six years so we've had pretty good luck. Had to buy a new one and uh, this is the new one here. And I try to do a different way and uh, let me show you my uh, simpler way of uh, making a router cooler. In the past I've had a, a vertical router and this time around my friends recommended us, uh, several different horizontal routers and I bought this brand and so I had to come up with a cooling fan for it. Uh, I didn't want to build another custom one. I got a little lazy and said I wonder if there's a better way to do it. And I was wandering around the computer store and what I found is I found this thing that's meant to cool laptops. And as you can see most of the cooling is here and in here. So this fan blows up through here and out here uh, keeping it cool but this is made to set a laptop on. It runs off of the USB. This uh, router has two USB ports and this just plugs into there and you can see when I plug it in it will start running. There it goes. The only trick here is to make sure that the fan does not draw too much power and from the uh, from the router power supply so you need to make sure you get a kind of a low power one and we did. I got the lowest power uh, fan operation fan setup that I could and it works fine for the last two months it's been uh, working just fine uh, again we don't always have this room air conditioned so that's uh, an important consideration we need to keep this thing cool also this setup will not void your warranty there's no modification of the router obviously and uh, that's also an important consideration well I hope you found it interesting and perhaps useful